We are heading off for our second trip, or second weekend in a row, uh, but we're heading to the other direction now, to Omaha, this time with Noah. Right, Noah? Right. Uh, it's a two-day trip instead of a three-day trip. Another shoot with AOE. I'm, uh, I'm running a shotgun, right? You're gonna drive? Yeah. Cool. And then we're gonna set up a time-lapse for tonight, too. Uh, since we're getting going a little bit later than we planned, we're actually gonna be driving, getting to Omaha just about sunset, or a little after sunset. So we're gonna do a time lapse in the car while we're driving of the sunset, like the ones that Tristan's been doing as well. So we'll see how it turns out though. We need a nice clean windshield to shoot the time lapse through. I know. Because Noah doesn't trust the suction cup on the outside of the car. Okay. It's not only, I know it proved itself to me. It's now the issue of, I don't want to stop every <laughs> single time we need to like adjust it or if we think something might be off about it. I suppose you're right. Let's get in the car and get on the road. 517. I ain't in it for the money. I ain't in it for the fame. I ain't in it for the accolades. Trying to tell me what a vision of the riches and the women. I ain't waited till I'm not today. Try to separate the crew, but the truth is it did it. Got the same vision, so you know we stay winning. Some of y'all chasing recognition. Not me, I do it for the love, yeah. Yeah, 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 I do it for the love. So, yeah, we just uh, had a little pit stop because we. Oh, look at those windows, though. Oh, my God. Can't see it. Okay. Anyway, cool. uh, so Noah washed the windshield before we left when he was getting gas, but about halfway through we noticed that there's already a ton of bugs on the windshield and the sunset was just too good to uh, ignore them. So we stopped, washed it off, and uh, we're just glad that we brought Windex with us. It's running again right now. We're 53 photos into a thousand photo time lapse. The sun is it's probably close to 15 or 20 minutes away from being setting. But yeah, it's going to be a good one. I'm excited to see what this one looks like when it's all done. Super dynamic though. I'm sure you'll get to see it in the vlog. But yeah, we'll update you before we finish the night out. What's up vlog? We're getting closer to our destination of Omaha. I'm driving Zach's car. We're almost halfway out of fuel, but we're still doing good. Uh, we only got about about like what, an hour left-ish. It's been a pretty easy drive. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts about growing businesses, courtesy of Chris Doe. So thank you, Chris. This is a gorgeous sunset, by the way. And it's amazing. We got this time-lapse going. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be very, very cool. So we got to the hotel. 30? Yeah, about that. And uh, first thing we asked is if there's anywhere that's still delivering because we're both hungry. She's like, yeah, yeah, there should be places. Oh, wait. No, they're all closing down because there's a curfew in 30 minutes. So all the stores, are, all the restaurants are probably closed and done delivering for the night. So that was awesome. So I got into DoorDash and we started looking at restaurants and went to places like, we're just thinking McDonald's, right? Something easy, quick, fast. McDonald's is closed, Burger King's closed, Arby's was closed, everywhere was closed except for this one random pizza place. So we're hoping that it goes through. The order said it went through and DoorDash says that the restaurant confirmed the order. So we should be good. This is ours. Oh, not ours. No, it's ours. <laughs> I'm gonna set up a time lapse though, real quick for the full moon that's outside that we can see from our window. So, super excited to see this one out. And there she is. So, toppers came through and the front desk person She's like, yeah, they deliver through anything. They deliver through a hurricane. And I was thinking we're in Omaha. Uh, Peter, since we checked in last hour, the winds have picked up considerably here in, in Omaha. <laughs> also, shout out to the lady at the front desk. 
for hooking us up with drinks. For it was real. super, super nice of her. She did not have to do that. No, we had our wallets out. She, uh, she was very nice. It's always a solid stay when we stay here at the Hyatt. So if you're in Omaha, Hyatt Place, uh, Old Market. It's a great location, too. It's an awesome like, location, yeah. Good for walking around. You can do around. so much stuff. Not right now, though, because no. everything's locked down. But this is my go-to place when we come here. What's up vlog? Day one in Omaha, Nebraska. Just woke up. We're heading to the shoot for AOE. Gonna get some McDonald's first because there is no food at the hotel because it's a buffet and that doesn't follow health regulations. Zach, how you doing? I'm good. I would say it's interesting to see with traveling. Last week we were in Madison, as you saw, but this week we're in Omaha, and the standards for what how they're handling COVID are so different at like what level they're they're taking it seriously, I guess. So one of the main things that we noticed is they wouldn't even let us turn the TV on in the lobby because yeah. the remotes are all gone because they don't want people touching the remotes, which makes sense. But also, I kind of wondered why they couldn't just turn the TV on for us. But yeah, I. It's just been interesting to see how the communities have uh, handled, handled it differently. That's how I feel. All right, I'll give you an update as soon as we get to the site and as soon as we start getting set up. Maybe we even do a time lapse or something fun. We never do. We never do. We always say we're gonna do the time lapse. We, we never did it do. one time. <laughs> Here's proof. Adam, insert the little bit of micro content I made one time about the time we did a little time lapse. Thanks. Have a good day, man. What's up, vlog? Just finished a day of shooting uh, an AOEU Pro Pack with hey, Abby. Three of them. Oh, my bad, I misspoke. We shot three. AOEU Pro Packs with Abby. Yeah, she she did really well today. Three Pro Packs in one day, but it's just tough. like last week, is really, really tough to get through that many of them in one day. So it's a lot of talking. Uh, you could kind of start to hear her voice going out at the end of it. Uh, she said her voice even cracked at one point. Now we are very similar to last week. Also, racing back to the hotel to set up a time lapse of the sun setting. But we do have a 10, 10 o'clock curfew tonight, so yeah, uh, we can't stay out and take photos too late. Oh, we still got to break into Hyde's. Oh yeah, we had to go to Hyde's. Uh, but Hyde isn't here, so... So we're breaking and entering. He's a lawyer, he can help us. <laughs> well, it'd be a pretty easy break-in because he gave us his code. Right. I gotta get over. Hold on. Woo! So right now you're only seeing my head because I made no up with the 85 on the 6500. So it's actually effectively 170 millimeters. I wanted to challenge him while we were walking around to get some shots with a super tight lens. So we'll see what he can get. And then that would be a montage of your stuff that you ordered this exact same meal that got canceled um, so we're super excited that tonight we get to eat it uh, in our last night here so yep we'll let you know I think it looks good though it sounds good Noah's trying to shoot food shots with an 85 millimeter though it's kind of funny it's not just an 85 millimeter it's 170 millimeter <laughs> going on so last night we got into the hotel we got some last minute food again uh, the burgers that we tried to get the first day um, 
turned out pretty good. We also got a time lapse that I think looked like it turned out really good according to the images. Um, but we'll see how it looks when it's assembled. Now we're heading to AOE for day two. Should be a good one. Another long one, but that's okay. And then we head home. So we just finished up shooting our second day at AOE over here in Omaha. Uh, Tim shot three more pro packs today along with a conference video from Joel. Uh, everyone this weekend did awesome. Uh, a lot of content was shot. I think a total of six pro packs and two conference videos might be pushing uh, one of our longer weekends again. So it's been a lot. It's time for us to pack up and hit the four hour ride home. But right now we're uh, letting the car air out a little bit because it's hot here. It's like 110, I think. Is it 100? No, it's, it's not. not 100. It is hot here though. And we've been in a really cold room all day. So when we walked outside, it just felt like a sauna. But yeah, we're letting the car air out because it, the seats are all scorching hot. And we thought we'd just give you a little little quick update. Uh, I think we're heading to Hyde's now to drop off a shirt, grabbing some food at Kraft I think, uh, grabbing some gas and then hitting the road and then we'll be on our way. Right now we're outside of Hyde's place. As a lot of you know the intro song to the vlog was written and produced by Hyde uh, as a favor to us which was super nice of him but obviously the key, key lyrics in that is I do it all for the love and when we recently a, few, a month ago or so we uh, did some t-shirt sales and stuff like that as a fundraiser through uh, throughout COVID. We had some shirts that, like the one I'm wearing right now, that say, I do it for the love. But Hyde was super nice. I was even going to buy him one, but then I found out he had already bought one. Uh, but he was super nice and he actually bought one of the shirts too. So he's not here. Uh, he's out of town this week while we're here in Omaha. But we thought maybe we'd uh, stop and drop it off to him real quick so that he can have his shirt that he, uh, that he got with his lyrics on it. Hyde. We uh, found food, we found some wings and some fries, Cajun fries, at a place called Omaha Tap House. Uh, also another place that's not very far away from our go-to hotel, so I'm hoping these are good. They look really good though, they look legit. Um, but yeah, we're gonna finish up eating here real quick and then hit the road, grab some gas, and be on our way. Ooh. We are about 40 minutes away from home, 45 minutes away from home, and this bridge is always one of those ones you really never know what it's going to look like. I haven't stopped here for a while on this drive, but the sun is kind of perfect for a quick stop to get a couple drone shots of the bridge. So I've never had it with the sun in this direction, so I'm excited to see what it's going to look like from the sky. Might be windy once we get out there though. And it is so loud here. Oh my gosh. Pretty. A party. We should just cue the music. Shots look cool though. It was worth the stop. Now we're gonna pack up and finish on our way. It's so good. 